Hey everyone! Welcome back to Miss Savory. If you're tuning in today, chances are you're dealing with some form of knee pain, inflammation, or you're exploring options to avoid surgery. You're not alone in this, and today's topic is especially for you. We're going to talk about a powerhouse vitamin that has been making waves in the world of knee health, vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. So make sure to stick around as we dive into how this essential nutrient can be your knee's new best friend. Now let's get straight to it, vitamin D, often nicknamed the sunshine vitamin, is crucial not just for bone health but also for maintaining the function of your knees. But why is it so vital, especially for those suffering from knee problems? Well, vitamin D plays a significant role in reducing inflammation in our bodies and supports the overall health of our joints and bones. This can be particularly beneficial if you are battling chronic knee pain or conditions like arthritis. Many studies have shown that people with chronic knee pain often have significantly lower levels of vitamin D. This deficiency can contribute to the pain and the progressive damage that might be happening in your joints. By ensuring that your body gets an adequate amount of vitamin D, you could potentially manage your symptoms more effectively and even prevent further damage to your knees. Now, you might be wondering how much vitamin D do we actually need? Well, the amount can vary based on factors like age, geographic location, skin color, and current health status. Generally, adults should aim for about 600 to 800 international units per day. But if you're deficient, your doctor might recommend higher doses to boost your levels. It's always best to get a blood test done to check your vitamin D levels and discuss with your healthcare provider what's right for you. So, how can you increase your vitamin D intake? There are three main ways, through sunlight, diet, and supplements. Let's break these down a bit. First, sunlight. Vitamin D is unique because your body can produce it when your skin is exposed to sunlight. Just about 10 to 15 minutes of midday sun exposure several times a week can help most people maintain adequate vitamin D levels. However, if you live in a place with little sunlight, especially during the winter months, or if you have darker skin which absorbs less sunlight, you might need to rely more on other sources. Next, let's talk about diet. While not many foods naturally contain significant amounts of vitamin D, there are still some good sources. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are among the best natural sources. Other options include fortified foods such as milk, orange juice, and cereals, which can help boost your intake. Eggs, particularly the yolks, also offer a decent amount. Lastly, supplements can be a reliable source of vitamin D, especially if dietary intake and sunlight are insufficient. Vitamin D supplements come in two forms, D2, which is often derived from plants, and D3, which comes from animal sources and is also made by your skin when exposed to sunlight. Vitamin D3 is generally preferred since it's the form that's most effectively used by your body. Incorporating vitamin D-rich foods into your diet can also be a delightful culinary journey. Imagine starting your day with a breakfast of scrambled eggs topped with smoked salmon, or perhaps a smoothie blended with fortified orange juice and yogurt. For lunch or dinner, a beautifully grilled piece of mackerel could not only satisfy your taste buds, but also contribute to your knee health. Besides eating right and taking supplements, simply getting out for some daily sunlight can significantly boost your vitamin D levels, essential for your knee health. Whether it's a morning walk or just taking a few minutes to bask in the sun during your lunch break, each moment counts. Remember, while vitamin D can be a fantastic ally for your knees, it's important to discuss with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen. This is especially crucial if you have existing health conditions or are taking medications that vitamin D might interact with. We've covered a lot about how vitamin D can be beneficial for those suffering from knee problems from its role in bone and joint health to how you can ensure you're getting enough. I hope this information helps you as you work towards healthier knees and a more comfortable daily life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out on any of our future health tips and updates. Also, drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a particular topic you'd like us to cover in upcoming videos. Your feedback is invaluable as we continue to create content that helps you live a healthier, happier life.